I went to the market with my mom one time when I was, I think I was like four or five years old. And this was an outdoor market, uh, I believe it was in Nicaragua. A young kid about my age and his mom approached us begging for money. Afterwards, I asked my mom about it. I said, well, why didn't they just go to the market to buy food? And very young, I recognized that there was a big gap between people who could afford food and people who couldn't. Having moved to the U.S. as a teenager and grown up in the U.S., seeing people drink a cup of coffee, and how people could afford these things and how there was just a lot of money going into the products that actually I had seen growing. And the people I saw at the farm were the poor people, the kind of people that couldn't go to the market and buy food for their family. The breaking point for me was I had a family friend who grew coffee and he was telling me he was gonna give up his farm because he couldn't make money. And I never understood it because he had such a big farm and he produced all this coffee. And then he showed me the supply chain. And he said, look, I sell the coffee to a guy who takes it to the mill, the mill you know, processes, exports, takes it to the importer, importer sells it through a broker, broker sells it to a roaster. There's this complexity that's been created because of access to market and access to capital that the traders have. And then I realized that I can make the traders obsolete if I really could build the business. And that's why I started my Oregon. Our company purpose is to eliminate systemic poverty in Latin America through the direct trade of artisanal organic foods. And their farm is their home. They, their home is on their farm. So when you see them put on spacesuits to go out and spray chemicals onto their own land, if you can put two and two together, you recognize, well, these people live here. A lot of people think that organic is about the consumer. It's a much more holistic issue. We have to protect the soil. We have to protect the communities that grow our food. We have to protect the people who live there. For us, quality is everything. Giving the best quality at the best price is value. And it's also giving the producer the best possibility for a long-term future. So I think for us, it's a matter of feeling good about making that positive impact in Latin America, but also feeling good about making positive impact in our country here in the US. I'd like to believe that people who buy our product, once they know how we operate, why we operate, would feel empowered and would feel actually grateful that they're part of something like that.